Hey guys, CGUP here, and in today's video we would be counting down 20 things you might not know about Terrapel. Now in this video, I am just explaining 20 things the average player in Terrapel might not know. Now if you guys know any of these, that is amazing, good job. I did not know a lot of these actually. I had to research this video very heavily and tried to bring in the coolest things that you guys might not know about. Now I have a challenge for you guys. I want you to watch the entire video and count how many you knew. All right, there's gonna be a total of 20. So see how many out of 20 you knew. All right, let's get into this video. In Taravel, there is a sub game called the Taravel. It features all one of the 169 stages in the game. Each section has a number corresponding to the order it is in in the tower. Now, you might not know this, but the 69th stage in the Tower of Hell has the word nice replaced instead of the number. <laughs> now, this also applies in the settings for the kill bot. If you happen to set it to 69, it will change to nice. Now, this is unsure if it's just to bypass the filter because it won't let you say 69 Roblox, or this is just some cool easter egg. Now, if you're ever bored in Tower of Hell and you own a VIP server, you can actually do a pretty cool command that will help you get better at wall hopping. If you do the command slash remove, to, it will actually remove all the sections in, in the tower, leaving you with this giant wall. Now, you can make it anywhere from 4 to 200 studs, and this is completely wall hoppable. It also counts as a secret stage, so if you touch it, it will give you the badge. If you reach the top of it, you won't get anything cool. You will just... you won't get anything. The first person to ever beat the Tower of Hell was Meta underscore Data. He beat the game under featured just 50 stages, and he beat this in September of 2018, right after the game was released. His video on it reached over 7 million views, making it the most popular Tower of Hell video on YouTube. On his channel, he has yet to upload another video since beating the Tower of Hell. The stage Pulsar was originally meant to be a completely different stage. Originally, it was meant to be named The Black Hole, which featured a giant kill brick sphere. The stage has since been updated to the Pulsar we all know and love. I want your opinions down below. Would you guys rather the Black Hole or would you guys rather the Pulsar? I would have preferred to play Black Hole, it actually looked really cool. In the really early days of Taravel, the game actually used to support R15, rather than the traditional R6. From June 2018 all the way until September, users had the option to pick either avatar styles. Now this one is actually really cool. You might have noticed the thumbnail on Taravel slightly changed to better suit the lighting changes. And even some of the sections at the top are slightly different. But did you know this game was originally going to have three other variations? The first one being a tower with balls, witch one, swirly path, crisscross, and some others. I can't name them all because there are a lot. The second one had balls, purple tower twice, and a few others. And the third being purple tower, dragon's work, hard boy, and some others. These were all considered until Corky and Pixel have settled on the one we all know and love. On April Fool's Day this year, the Terrafell staff decided to pull a prank on everybody, in which the game was renamed to Of Hell and featured an, an image of a scary cat. The entire time, the admin claimed they were hacked and this was an issue with the data slurs. When you joined the game, Tower of Hell had no walls at all, hence the name removing Tower from Tower of Hell. The ladder in Tower of Hell was actually a very new feature. It was only added in March 2020 and has remained in the game since. Originally, you needed to climb the stairs to get up to the top, but since a lot of people were complaining that it was too tough or just too annoying, they decided to add a ladder. In my opinion, this was actually a really good change. It helped a lot of players learn how to ladder flick and taught them a new aspect of obeying, aka glitches. There is a pretty secret gear that has existed in this game for a while. A blue, orange, and white gun named the White Exterminator. This was originally planned. Ban those that it hit. Obviously, this idea wouldn't be the best because if you ever misfired, you would accidentally ban someone. Also, previously leaking any videos of these guns would be an instant ban from the Tower of Hell Discord server. But since Pinkleaf and Sharina have made videos on it, it is no longer a secret. 
the stage choices is known for being broken. These, I really hate these. Where do I go from here? Oh, wow, really? That's impossible. Ah, that's impossible. Why would it give you the option? There's no way that's possible. You just wasted my time. You put there are three paths and only two of them work. The third choice, Neon Choice, is supposed to have a second rope attached to the platform. But when Saren created the model, he added more parts to the section, which is what you're seeing now. But forgot to save those additions and set the model without those additions, causing the stage to be broken and unfinished. Pixel Dev is yet to accept the updated version. There is a secret halo called Obed's Inferno. This is exclusive to Obed and his very close friends. The halo is basically a gold halo with an R with wings on it. This is redesigned to match his tower game, Obed's Inferno Reborn. It's unsure of how many owners there are, but Durgus claimed there are over five non-admins who own this. In the secret stage, House, also known as Happy Developer Home, there is a hidden message. Once you enter the house, you're greeted with Oban and Pixel playing Tower of Hell on the sofa. But if you look behind the TV, there is a hidden message, Oban Tube is here. <laughs> this is written by Oban, one of the Tower of Hell developers. Another cool thing to note, if you touch the light in the house, you will die as it is a kill brick. I don't have any videos of this. Now this is really cool. The stage prop jump has a very interesting backstory. Gabe, who created this stage, has stated that this level is based on Super Mario 64. This stage was based on the final Bowser level from the game. Here is a look of what the level looks like. Now, I think we can all agree, if you've ever used a trial before, you might have thought it was very useless. But these trials actually have a pretty cool hidden ability. If you happen to find it in local stages, placing a block in its path will completely stop it until the block disappears, and in some cases, it will even launch you off the local stage. There are a few titles, you might already know about them, the Sub to Pink Leaf one, the builder, the admin, the developer, member, or even the fellow pixel dev on Twitch. But there is actually a secret title called the Noob. This title is exclusive for the Taravel staff and Pinkleaf. Nobody else. In December of 2019, Taravel decided to add a special update in which snow would fall from the ceiling, and there was also a snowman in the lobby. If the player touched the snowman, it would grant them with a cool hat they could wear. In addition to this, levels were also introduced, letting players upgrade their gears using skill points. Now, if you're still bored of playing the stages, you can use the slash mod command to spawn some pretty cool stages that have not yet been added to the game. Now, these stages actually will never be added to the main game. These are just sort of like community made sections, I'm pretty sure. If you'd like to try it out, type in these commands in order. Now, keep in mind you have to be in your own VIP server for this to work. You can't be in your friends or you can't be in a public server. In the stage the Halo, the stage might glitch. In this case, the ring will spawn at the bottom of the tower, causing the stage to be completely impossible. I'm not sure if I'm saying the right term. If this happens, you have no choice but to wait it out. Or if you're in a VIP server, you can do slash skip. Now don't worry guys, I have saved the best for last. Finally, and it's guaranteed you will not know this one, in Tower of Hell, there is a secret section called the Vault. Now this is pretty known, but what you might not know is that the Vault door has ice on top of it. Yep, ice. Making this the only section in the main game to have ice. This is excluding the modern sections that we've previously talked about. And as a bonus, this section is exactly the same size as the Halo section. Isn't that cool? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was amazing to make and I loved researching a lot of these facts. If you guys would like to read more facts, I will leave a link to the Tower of Hell wiki where I learned all of this information. And as a bonus, there will be a link to their Discord server. Now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to end it here. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Make sure you comment how many of these you knew because I'd love to see. Anyway guys, have a great day.